transform my kitchen with deep cleaning and a little bit of DIY. And I'm so proud of these results. Let's get into it. If you watched my previous video where I flooded my flat, you'll already know my kitchen countertops are very damaged. They're rotting from the inside out. Literally. This is a rented flat, so buying new countertops is not an option. So I'm doing the rent a friendly alternative and vinyl wrapping, baby. For prep, I'm cleaning the kitchen countertops and the stove top. Then removing all the old silicone in the kitchen. Then we're going in with the most important step, which is using a sugar soap spray. Sugar soap is basically a really powerful degreaser. It helps the wrap from bubbling or lifting in the future. Just make sure you follow the instructions so you don't damage the countertop underneath. Speaking of countertop, you guys picked out this vinyl wrap. And I gotta say, you guys have great taste. I'm loving the white marble effect, so thank you so, so much to everyone who voted on my story. I'm telling you in advance, I'm gonna need your help when I'm picking out my flooring next. After applying the vinyl, I'm touching up the walls with a little bit of paint. And then I'm siliconing everything in place, baby. Had a bit of stubborn area, but don't worry, we fixed it. Now, the area around my sink was definitely a problem area. That countertop was by far the most damaged in the entire kitchen. Because the landlord never sealed the old sink in place. I explain all this in my previous video where I refit a new kitchen tap. So that area got a lot of TLC. TLC is in tender love and care, not the band. Though I do love them. Girl power. So I feel like now is a good time to remind you that I'm not a professional. But if you have any tips for me, please let me know so I can improve because I love reading your comments. Once that was done, I put a fresh look of paint down. I'm still missing the tile that's meant to go next to this boiler. So I'm doing the landlord special. I'm slapping some paint on it. And after a bit more silicone, we were finally there, guys. You've got to tell me what you think down below. This was the before and this is the after. And that's the new tap I fitted that I'm so proud of. We've done a lot, but we're still only halfway through. Still need to sort out these moldy floors and the moldy windowsill. So follow for more and I'll see you soon. Love ya!